Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the Certified Jenkins Engineer Certification Catalyst Series. This is question number five. Uh, your CTO has instructed you to find the easy and a simple solution to back up all the Jenkins instances in your environment. It needs to be cost effective, but the main focus of it is being simple and easy to implement. So this is about how to back up your Jenkins. So option A, simply back up Jenkins underscore home directory, enough information to restore Jenkins to a new compute instance. B, there is no simple way as such, only way is to take the disk or data snapshot of the VM. Uh, C, simply copy or back up the config.xml file, the rest is redundant and it is downloaded from a Jenkins cloud master setup and boot up. And D, enable Jenkins replication, the feature of Jenkins, open source Jenkins, using which you can very easily replicate the data and config from one Jenkins master to another. Okay, so this is about how to back up Jenkins. Okay, so if I go to this section on administering Jenkins, you will see that if I do a backup, oh, yes, backup and restore. So you can see all the settings, build logs, artifact, archives are stored under the Jenkins home directory. Simply archive this directory to make a backup. Similarly, restoring the data is just replacing the contents of the Jenkins home directory from a backup. So basically what happens in Jenkins is Jenkins underscore home. Okay, and you can configure this. For example, I think I can show you where my Jenkins underscore home is. Uh, just a second. Yes, home directory. So this is my Jenkins underscore home. Okay, by default Jenkins will store all of its data in this directory on the file system. Okay, so this is a bitnami. Uh, AMI for Jenkins, that is why this is opt slash bitnami slash Jenkins Jenkins home. Uh, okay, but you can obviously change Jenkins home, but whatever is your Jenkins home, that is the directory where everything related to Jenkins is being stored. So actually, if you just back up that directory, it actually does the stuff for you. You don't need to back up the VM as such. Uh, you don't, but yeah. Now there is another question. Uh, I will try to find that also. Contents of Jenkins home. Let me see. Yes. One second. I think here I can show you what is the content. Yeah. So see now this is just yeah at a Jenkins home directory. So Jenkins home basically contains all individual directories. Okay. For example, you have a directory called secrets for secrets. Okay. Uh, you have directory called jobs for jobs and uh, for example there are other directories also. Okay. Now the thing is that uh, Jenkins uh, home uh, is good enough. Okay, you can basically back up the entire thing, then you don't need to back up the VM. So basically this option of backing up the VM, although it's also a um, good option, meaning if you back up the VM, you're also effectively backing up Jenkins home, right? But you don't need to do it actually, only doing Jenkins home is good enough. And but see, now Jenkins home contains a lot of files. Now some of those files, even if you don't back up, it's okay. Okay, but I was trying to show you that uh, Jenkins home directory structure, but I could not find the uh, place. Uh, one second. Let me see if this is the one. So Jenkins home contains a lot of things. Yeah, for example, here you can find a few structure like fingerprints. This contains a fingerprint, jobs, plugins, updates, users, where. Okay, now um, uh, some of them you might uh, be okay to not, uh, for example, uh, backup. Okay, if you don't, for example, you can see this is a jobs folder. It contains all the jobs. You need to back it up, right? Because if you don't back up the jobs folder, then you will not see the jobs in your new restored Jenkins instance. But there are some things that you cannot, I am trying to find. But anyways, for now, this question is okay because this answer is correct. If you back up Jenkins Home, it's okay, but there are some things within Jenkins Home you might not want to back up because some of them, again, Jenkins anyhow downloads on the next run, okay? And because the metadata is there, the actual data you don't need to download because using the metadata on the next successful run or the next successful restore, Jenkins will automatically download the data based on the metadata. So if you want to save space or time, then you don't need to back up the entire Jenkins Home, but this is safe enough. But only config.xml is not enough because you need to think config.xml is the configuration of your Jenkins, which is a good file. But you also need to, con uh, for example, back up your um, fingerprints, secrets, artifacts, and stuff like that. And there's nothing called Jenkins replication as such. Okay, it's not a feature. There is no open source feature as such yeah, called Jenkins replication. There are features maybe in the cloud based uh, enterprise version uh, for uh, more backup facilities, but 
normally uh, this is okay but just before that for an extra information let me just show you something so there are other ways also okay for example you have plugins okay uh, there is something called a thin plugin then there is called a backup plugin okay uh, so for example if you see this plugin see backup manager this is a backup plugin okay so these are basically kind of like do you can set it up and you can do kind of same there is something called thin backup that will not uh, back up only the essential parts it will uh, avoid a few stuff so uh, there are other ways also to back up but very simply from the perspective of this question the answer is simply back up the Jenkins underscore home directory now coming to the actual part where I uh, configured uh, the actual thing so what you need to understand is that the Jenkins system configuration is very important basically if you come here and if you come to this part basically you actually want to understand every single aspect which is being shown in this config under configure system it is very important like what is white period okay what is this label thing what is the number of executors uh, for example audit trail what is this audit trail then uh, this is another plugin you will not get this by default though but all of these sections it is very important for you to understand extended email notification because without this now uh, it gets very difficult you have to understand all of these concepts so configuring jenkins is a very very and managing jenkins is a very important part of the exam so you will get questions from there for sure uh, directly backup question i did not get in my exam but i have seen in a few blogs I got a question about um, backing up Jenkins also. Okay, and it's a good, cool feature to know. Okay, thank you everybody. This was quick. Uh, please share your feedbacks in the comment section. Let me know in case of any concern. Bye.